Oh, wait a minute, there it goes. Oh my God! Ah yes, exciting times. It is moving day and you know what happens when you move. You gotta get internet connectivity, otherwise what's the point of living in a house, am I right? So my options are pretty bleak out here. I could either get my cable company that I've had for years and you know, their prices are duh, 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 and they charge you for unlimited data, yada, yada, yada. They don't even have fiber, which is the thing right there. So it's kind of crazy. So I remembered I kept seeing ads for 5G home internet from Verizon and T-Mobile and maybe even at and I don't know. Anyways, I have Verizon on my phone. There's a Verizon tower right with it. Like I could see it from here and it has exceptional 5G connectivity. Granted, it's C-band and not millimeter wave, so it's not you know as good as it could be, but I get exceptional speeds on my phone, so I was like, you know what, that's a good option. Typed in my address on the website, it said I was eligible. Come moving day, I go to actually order it, it says I'm not eligible. I call in to make sure, and they say, yeah, it's not available there. So, I guess they filled up in my area for now, not really sure, but T-Mobile, I was like, I guess, let's try it out. So, I hit up T-Mobile's website. This is the process, by the way, of how you get T-Mobile's internet, it's kind of, something. So I filled out my address on the website. It said I was eligible. Yay, but spots are limited. So make sure you sign up right now. It said to call or chat to sign up. I was like, I can't just do this online. This is kind of weird. So I decided to offer the chat. I say, hey, I'm trying to sign up for 5G home internet. It said to chat. Let's get this started. The guy's like, yeah, you're not eligible at your address. So I was like, okay. <laughs> How are you gonna tell me I'm eligible and then say no in the chat? Anyways, I was like, you know what? I really don't wanna pay 200 bucks for cable, so I'm gonna call in. So I called in, got this really nice guy in Texas. He was a cool guy. And we were talking for like an hour, by the way. But lo and behold, credit check, everything ran, and he's like, yeah, you're eligible, you're good to go. I was like, okay, cool. I didn't even mention the chat. I was just like, yeah, I'll take it, just give me it. But the whole time, the whole hour was like, watch this be a whole hour. And then he's like, wait a minute. It says you're not eligible. Because <laughs> stup stupid stuff like that happens to me all the time. So I was like, oh, let's see. And he's like, I'm waiting for the green light. I'm like, what? And he's like, I got the green light. I'm like, okay, he did that like three times. So we got the green light, ordered it. That was Friday afternoon. Today is Tuesday evening. And the UPS finally delivered it, second day air. Weekends didn't count, it shipped out Sunday night and got here Tuesday. So not too bad, although UPS took all day. So without further ado, let's see what's actually inside of this box here. Oh, there we go. T-Mobile, yeah. Mm. So here we go, we got the gateway right in here, the 5G internet gateway. Which one do we have here? We have the... I, I guess they're calling this the recycling bin one because there was a trash can which is round and this one's like a square version of it. So, you know, I heard they're coming out with a new one, but I don't know. Now the good news is 15 day trial here, so I'll be able to see how well it actually works. The guy on the line told me the tower is southeast from my house, so I'll just put it in the window over there and we should be golden. He's like, you could walk there in like five minutes, so should be good. And he also told me they only do it for 5G areas because I was like, it's a 5G tower? He's like, yeah, only 5G towers are allowed on the internet, but from my research, some people had LTE, so I don't know. I guess, I guess it depends. But here we go, got the box right here. And the process to set it up should take about 15 minutes. Now the bad news is I'm hearing some mixed things online, something about you have to do weird workarounds to play online games and the latency might be high and then it gets really congested. Speaking of congestion and prioritization, this is at the lowest tier of deprioritization. So if you're in an area that's really crowded, pretty much everything is gonna get faster speeds than you. If it gets congested, you're probably gonna come to a standstill and not work. So we'll see how that works. Hopefully over here it's good. I mean, I don't have any T-Mobile service to try this out with before, so I'm going in blind, although this is lower tier than a phone anyway, so I guess it doesn't matter. But with the tower being here, hopefully it's gonna be good. But remember, 15 day test drive, I could send it back, get a refund, plus after two billing cycles, I get a $50 gift card. So I was like, why not go for it? Let's just see what happens. So let's see what we got inside of this box. Whoa, almost just broke it. This, not gonna lie, this is bigger and heavier than I was expecting. I thought it was gonna be like a small, like mobile hotspot type device. But this is a big modem. It's also a router. You know, actually not bad. It feels very hot. I heard sometimes, I guess it depends on the brand or maybe all of them, but you need to keep them cool. Now the thing is I'm gonna put this in a very hot window, although the sun goes the other way, so hopefully it should be fine. We have 
just some manuals, I guess. Yeah, the manual safety guides, T-Mobile Gateway Quick Start Guide. Let's see, so you position it in a window near a power outlet, ideally on the upper floor. Okay, we're good to go there. Plug it in the power, the SIM card's already inside, and then use the app on your phone to set it up. I mean, seriously, it should only take five minutes. I don't know where they got 15. Although, where's the power cable? I guess it's still in the box. There we go. Got the power brick right here, USB type C. So that's very cool to see. All right, and I guess that's it. Now, if we do take a look here on the back, we do have two hardwired ethernet ports so you can direct wire into this if you want to. The USB, we got two USB-C ports. This one looks like for connectivity if you wanna plug a hard drive in for the network. And then this one's gonna be for power and then we have a power button right here. Pretty simple. Over on the front, we do have a little display here so you can receive messages and I guess see different settings for the router. Now the thing is, although this does have a router built into it, it is recommended to use your own router so you can have more configuration options with it because this is pretty limited and I'm obviously gonna plug in a router. But you know, just for the testing purposes of this video and the service, we're gonna be using everything directly on here as is right out of the box so you can know exactly what you're gonna get if you decide to go this route. So without further ado, Let's get this thing connected up. Very long cable here. Let's get the power plugged in. Let's turn this thing on, remove this film. Oh, and there we go, T-Mobile powering up. The screen, very low pixel count, but you know, it doesn't matter. T-Mobile is powering up. Let's see how long this takes. I mean, routers and modems always take a long time to boot up, so I guess it's nothing new here. All right, so now that we're powered up, it looks like we actually have a very solid signal right here in the kitchen, which is good to see since we're not I mean, we're close to a window, but the tower is on the other side of the house, according to that guy. So this is a good start right now. We're gonna launch into the T-Mobile internet app. We're gonna set up a device. We have an LTE Wi-Fi gateway and a 5G gateway. So maybe there is an LTE version, but we're gonna go the 5G route. Plug it in, plug it in. Yes, we got everything. Location is ideal. So there's actually a video here. Let's actually take a look and see how you position it. Although it's pretty simple. Just put it in a window facing the tower. There's the trash can right there. See, I don't have that one. I have the recycling bin. Okay, that's actually pretty cool. Okay, not gonna lie, it felt kind of pointless to watch that since I already knew all that, but you know, I guess it is what it is. And you know, if you're new to all this and it's foolproof really. So we're gonna share our location it's gonna check our location for 30 seconds. Oh yeah, so there we go. Just like the guy said, southeast over there. Ideal placement will be nearest to the signal by window and preferably on the top floor. Okay, got it. Okay, let's get connected. So you know what, just for initial test, we're gonna leave it right here where it's not by a window and see what happens before we put it by the window. So let's just say we found the spot Scan the QR code on the gateway. Oh, it's on the back. Okay, there we go. Connect to power, we're already connected. Wait two minutes for it to completely start up. Oh, wait, we are started up, did we go to sleep? Okay, I woke it back up. Oh wait, I guess I could skip this because it's already on, right? Up and running for at least, yeah, it was on and running for at least two minutes, so there we go. Check the status. Is this a touch screen? Not a touch screen. Oh, it tells you how many devices are connected, the messages and the language as well. So that's pretty cool. Okay, let's see. Is there an upgrade? No. Wi-Fi permission. Okay. Let's join the network. One device connected. So we are connected. Well, it still says we're connecting, but oh, there we go, we're connected. Nice, we're connected to the T-Mobile internet app. All right, it's walking us through the process. So far, so good. 
So right here, you're allowed to adjust the network name and the Wi-Fi password. We'll just skip it for now. Administrative password as well. We'll just skip this step for now. And success, the setup is complete. Just tap on done. It looks like our signal's very good being right here in the middle of the kitchen, so that's very cool to see. So, looks like we're ready to go. Device, Wi-Fi, internet. So now, of course, let's run our first speed test and see how well the signal strength is giving us as far as speed and connectivity. Got a 60 millisecond ping, not too bad. You know what, download's actually solid. And remember, we're not by a window, we don't have full bars right now, so hopefully it'll get better than this. 200 down. Pretty impressive, although that that loaded ping is very high. You know, 60 is not too bad unless you're gaming or something, but 1300, eh, I don't know. 26 upload, not too bad since the cable company generally wants to only give 35 on their highest plan, which is insane. Let's do one more test just to make sure. Okay, lower ping, 55 this time. Download speeds are still solid. You know, I mean, 200 down's fine. I'm, I'm good with that. I mean, I would get a gigabit down and then like 35 up, maybe 100 if I was lucky for like 200 bucks, four times the price of this. So obviously, you know, if you're comparing prices and connection, I mean, this is the better option. Unless you're a hardcore gamer, then this is probably not for you. All right, so it looks like we're pretty good here. Now, just to be sure, let's run a fast.com speed test because this is going to be for Netflix and streaming video. Once again, it is very, is it higher? It's actually at 300 this time almost. Somehow it's higher. I'm impressed. Okay, let's see our upload speed. We got a 58 millisecond ping. Upload speed's at 51, 62? Is it really? I don't know. I'm not sure if that's accurate. I mean, it could be. I mean, as long as I'm close to 35, I'll be relatively happy since that's the same as I would get through cable. And this is, you know, a fraction of the price, so I'm not gonna complain about that. Very, very good. Okay, I'm actually impressed for 50 bucks. All right, so now I moved it right in the window facing the tower. The good news is I have a north-south facing house, so the sun rises and goes over this way, so hopefully the sun won't be attacking it and making it overheat, but it looks like we still actually only have a four out of five bar connection, which is kind of surprising considering the tower's right over there, but there are other houses in the way, so that could be affecting it. But we are up higher and closer and through a window this time, so I feel like it should be better than when we were in the kitchen. So let's see what we get. Color me, oh, wait a minute, there it goes. Oh my God. <laughs> It, it actually peaked at a gigabit. At first I was like, oh, it's actually lower, but it went up to a thousand. Okay, T-Mobile, I see you. Okay, now it did come back down to 400, which is still double what we had in the kitchen, although we did peak at 300 in the kitchen, but still, I'm happy. Now upload, what do we have? 38 millisecond ping this time, upload, 41, 33, 28, okay, you know, about the same as far as the upload goes. As long as we're in the 30s though, I'm fine, I'm good. You know, faster is of course gonna be better, but you know, same as I'd be paying four times the amount for. All right, so we got 410 down, 30 millisecond ping. The loaded is only 391 this time, and then we have an upload speed of 32, all right. Now let's go back to speed test and check this one out. 37 millisecond ping. Come on, can we get a gigabit? Come on, let's go up there. Okay, it's actually a bit lower here, not 400, but you know, still acceptable. Okay, 304 down. Oh, the upload's, the upload's actually at 50 right now, and it's pretty solid. You see, so it's good to use different servers, different apps to check the connection quality because you get different results depending on what it's connecting to, how far away, yada, yada, yada. Not bad. I want to get that gigabit again though. Can we do it? Can we? We might not be getting the gigabit again, but you know, it is possible we saw. Unless that was a fluke, I don't know. 
But the good news is very acceptable speeds, although we did drop down to 100 here. You know, it's fluctuating a little bit, but it's still fine and definitely gonna get the job done for watching videos and movies, listening to music, all that good stuff. Now when you start putting a bunch of stuff on there, you know, it could be good. Download speed should be fine when you're downloading games, but 38 millisecond ping, it's not the worst ever, but you know, if you're really competitive, it's gonna be annoying. But you know, not too shabby. I'm actually very impressed so far. Now, if I can get that full bar coverage, that would be great. Oh, wait a minute, here we go. 350. And it's coming back down, it's going back up. I mean, we're getting solid results no matter what. I'm not complaining at all for 50 bucks. You upload speed back around 50, I mean, I'm happy. I'm happy, I'm, I'm ecstatic. <laughs> and right now it is about 6 p.m. so people are, you know, coming home from work and all that. So I feel like this is probably on the lower side. This is probably more of a congested time, hopefully, fingers crossed. And that way when people are at work, maybe overnight, it might even be faster than this. So you know, let's actually use the camera here. So it looks like this is the ideal spot. Like I said, I'm not complaining because this is very good. Pretty, pretty comparable as far as the upload speed at least. And then the download is good enough compared to paying four times the amount through the cable company as if. Now, the one thing I will say, you might want to plug this into some sort of generator, unless you don't care, because I guess if you had cable internet, you'd be out of internet anyways, I guess, right? But if the power goes out and the tower's still on, you know, this won't work because there's no power and there's no built-in battery. So if you have it plugged into some way so it can have power, that would be great because it's a wireless connection. As long as the tower's running, you have internet connectivity. That'll be great. So keep that in mind. But all in all, I'm very impressed so far and I mean, 50 bucks, all inclusive. Now, here's the thing. The guy told me there was a $35 activation fee, but he waived it because we're on the phone or something. He was like, oh, we're running a special. I was like, okay, that's great, because I didn't know there was an activation fee. I was like, that's kind of crazy. I hate activation fees. But I found out that's for like two days, so it's probably gone by now. But he also told me it's $50 tax inclusive total out the door, no fees or anything on top of that. But then digging around in my account, I did see there's two different versions of this plan. There's a tax inclusive, for $50 total out the door, and then a tax exclusive, which is $50 plus taxes and fees on top of that. Not sure how you get one or the other, but you know, try to get the tax inclusive one if you can. He said it was weird, he's like, yeah, with internet there's no taxes, but with the phone there's taxes and everything. I was like, that's kind of weird, that actually is weird. I'm guessing it's some kind of special to get people to sign up, but either way, you're gonna be locked in with that price lock guarantee, which is great. Let me know if you have T-Mobile internet and if you're enjoying it and let me know how your experiences were. Maybe yours were worse than mine, maybe yours are better. But so far, so good. I'm pretty ecstatic for 50 bucks, not gonna lie.